Hello guys and welcome to this video for uh, the laptop disassembly. This is the Asus uh, G751. This is going to be a full disassembly and this is what you need to uh, actually do it. I have this little set here. Now we're only going to need uh, one, actually only this one, the middle one and maybe this is a Phillips screw, normal Phillips screw and uh, maybe uh, this here which is a little bit smaller this is only for one or two screws because they have a little bit smaller heads so now this is what you need as far as, as, far as, as goes for the screwdrivers and also you need one uh, card it's gonna, it can be whatever card, it has to be plastic uh, and it can be whatever you want a uh, credit card or just a gift card it doesn't matter. So let's go. Today I'm going to show you how to completely disassemble uh, the Asus G751. Uh, this is going to help for fan cleaning, including uh, hardware upgrades such as uh, hard drive change or uh, RAM upgrades. So uh, we'll begin with uh, placing a soft towel, something to place the laptop on. And now we start by removing this one screw here, which holds uh, this access panel. We also uh, will have to remove everything, of course, but uh, I'm going to show you, uh, have to, we have to remove these rubber pads, which are above the screws. So I'm using something like this, uh, just to pop them out, they're easy to remove, just take them out like this. This one which holds the, the CD drive, this, 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 and all the others which are on the base, on the underside. This is a little bit specific and it's different than the others, I think. Now this holds the CD bay here. Now when, when you take out this screw, you can, like this, you can pop out the CD drive and just simply move it away, put it somewhere else and uh, keep the screw on it so you know it, this is what this screw is for. them up with the others and don't lose them because they hold here and otherwise there's gonna be a gap here. We close it up. Now now it's time to turn it around and from here you can just with your nail you can you can start to try to, to, to clip this this whole back panel here. This is this is one whole part. You can try just to lift it up a little bit from all sides. You can hear it click. Try to do it from both sides as well. Clicks all the way. Then here in the middle. And now don't don't pull this hard because there is a cable holding the speakers. This is, these are actually the speakers. So now when you turn it around, you can see this little cable here. This is the, these are the, this is the speaker cable. Now 
you can gently just disconnect this and this, this can be put away in a different spot. Now we have to open the display like so and from the back side you, can, you have to put your finger under and just a little bit pull it up it's gonna click like this. Now do it gently, it doesn't need a lot of force just be gentle around this because you might break it. Now this is where the, these cards came from, uh, come, come in actually. Start by, sorry I'm blocking the camera a little bit but I cannot find an angle. Start by doing this, maybe one is enough actually, I don't need two of them. Just one is enough and just start to gently drive around. It's gonna start to pop one after another. Now, at this point, this part is actually free from the base. Now you have to pull it up a little bit, but not too much, only, only a little bit, only uh, like five cent or two, three centimeters. I think this is one inch or approximately. Now lift it a little bit back, a little bit up from the back side and pull, pull it gently front towards you. Just a little bit. Watch not to pull it hard. In this moment, underneath, I'm going to show you in a second. Underneath there are the, the cables, there are ribbon cables all over. You have to be very careful not to pull them too much because you can otherwise break them. You know, here is the under view with the laptop. This is how much you can actually pull it up. And these are the ribbon cables I was telling you about. They are very delicate some of them, so be very careful when you remove them. And you can remove them like this. Here there is a small clip. You just pull it with your nail, with your fingernail, just very carefully. And now this is free to go out. Now, once this is done, make sure you disconnected all of them carefully. And this way you can now actually remove, like this, you can remove the whole, whole panel. From the, from the rest of the laptop. So, uh, you might actually be able to do this without removing the display, to remove the fans, if you want, or if you, or all you want is to clean them, but I suggest uh, removing the display. So, there are three things, three connections, two connection checks actually, sorry, which you have to remove when you remove the display, which are this, here is the, the video cable, and here you have the Wi-Fi antenna, which are two small cables. They're a little bit tricky to uh, put back on, actually. They're easy to remove, but tricky to get back on. And now we start by, by removing these metal braces here, brackets, sorry. I think it's, uh, its purpose is to protect from the heat because this, this is actually the, the heat sink and this protects from the heat getting but I have no idea. We do the same with on the other side. From here on you have these screws here. Now at this point it's actually better to open again the laptop open the lid and here you can see this is this is the video cable and just pull it, pull it straight up just pull it up like this and once you remove this this is the video cable you have to remove this which are the Wi-Fi antenna cables just put your put a screwdriver under and pop them out they pop out up again only up and there you go you can remove those two now uh, now close it again now there are three more screws on each side now make make sure you have disconnected the, the video cable which was here and also the antenna cables 
for the Wi-Fi. Now this whole thing can simply go up. This is also uh, this is the cable for the for the speakers. Try not to take this off because this is this can stay inside. You don't need to remove this. Like in this moment, you can actually remove the whole uh, LCD panel, the whole display. Uh, now there are two screws here and here, which have to be removed first. This actually goes on top of this fan here, and it can, uh, it can the fan cannot be removed if you don't if you don't remove this board. It's uh, pretty delicate, so uh, be very gentle when you do it. Now, first off, remove the two screws. Again, they're very different than the other ones, so again, put them to one side. Now, once you've removed the two screws, this board actually goes again upwards only. And again, be gentle when you do it. it it's easy to remove it, just pull it up, straight up, and it goes out. This is actually the, the, the power button, which is this the thing here. And now you have access to both fans, which are here. If you want to clean them or replace them, as you wish. We start by removing this screw, this, there is a screw here, and one here. So this, uh, uh, this is why I said that it's impossible to remove this fan without removing the, the power button board because it's actually over the screw. Once we remove all three bolts, and then just, this is the, the, this is the little connector. So now, now this fan is actually completely free to remove. You pull it up, only up, and then a little bit to you towards you, there it's actually stuck here, up a little bit towards you, and this is actually your complete fan assembly. This one has only two bolts, so we need to remove one two of them. Up and a little bit towards you, same thing. Uh, I, I am actually going to remove the motherboard just to show you how, but otherwise it's really not necessary to do this. To remove the battery, you have to remove actually the motherboard because otherwise you cannot, you, can, you, you don't have access. The, it has these plastic clips, the battery on the back side and also on the front side. So in order to remove the battery, you have to remove the motherboard a little bit, just to pull it up a little bit. This has the same connection, which were uh, the same connection as there here from the keyboard. You can just there is a little clip here. You just pop it up, and then you can remove this cable. And this is the actually the uh, audio cable here. And again, no, this uh, we actually have to remove because it's on the underside. So now we begin by removing. Screw drives, screws here. The, the screws that hold the motherboard to the uh, base uh, are marked with this little white arrow next to them. The rest, there is actually no need be moved. At this point you can actually see that the whole thing is starting to give, it's starting to lift up and at this point you can, these are two screws here that hold the battery, there are only two. Now since this is done, I'm actually not going to remove the battery from the mother motherboard, I'm just going to put it like this. And also there is one more thing here, which is the, the this is the USB cable for the uh, these USB 3 ports here. And the way to remove it, there is a tape here that holds the connector. Remove the tape, peel it back, and then just... 
this thing just goes out like so. This is this is the, the cable connector for the USB 3. Since this is now removed. The whole motherboard can now be actually removed from the base. Here on the other side you can see the heat sinks. So now I'm going to start by pulling this thing back together. This is the battery which is replaceable and it can be removed easily but you have to remove the motherboard first. Otherwise it's very hard to get it in after as I found out. Now it has clips on the back and it goes like this. Now it cannot actually go up because there are clips on the back side and clips here on the front side as well which go under the motherboard. Okay now this is finally finished. This goes here this connector goes in like so. This tape is, is, is taped like this. Now we can plug in this USB 3 connector here. Be very careful with it. The tricky part is to get, because you have to get it simultaneously from the both sides, it, it, it cannot go like this or like this, it has to go straight forward. So this is tricky and it's hard to do it. Remember to connect this cable here. This is the SD card reader cable. Again, put in, click down. There's a little tape here, don't forget this. Now we continue with the fans. I'm gonna start by pulling, putting this one in. Down, down a little bit more. And push it forward a little bit and it's gonna pop in. It's, this is already in. Now this is very, very important. Don't forget to plug in the cables. This is very important. If you forget, then the, the fans will not be functional and the laptop will overheat. So now we put this back in. And now we start by putting in the screws. Remember these little thin screws? Uh, I actually forgot we have to bolt the entire motherboard down. Again, look, because there are a lot of holes on the motherboard, look for these little white arrows. This is the only places where you need to put in the bolts from the motherboard, so you don't get mixed up somewhere. Actually, uh, start to assemble, assemble back. Uh, I've already pulled, pulled, put in the screws, so we can just continue with the screws. Now, important on uh, this cable here. Don't forget this cable. This is the speaker cable, the subwoofer cable. So just plug that back in. And also don't forget this cable here. Both of these cables should be, three cables should be plugged in, all three of them. Don't forget them, they're very important cables. Now the next step is this, the power button, which has to be put in like this, like so. In, just push it, push it down. The, the four pins and the under must go directly in, like so. 
it doesn't click it's a little bit wobbly this is why it has the bolt uh, these two screws which you have to go here and here Don't let them loose. This should not move at all. Now the next step is the display. Basically you, you put the display like this. So it's in closed position. Don't worry about the cables yet per uh, second. Now we start with these screws, the big ones. Now once this is done, you can now open open the display, put this cable under and open the display carefully, like so. Now here is a little bit tricky with the video cable. Now there are pins under which have which which go inside this port here. You just pull it over for the port, find put it in the middle. Now this is a, this is a delicate procedure, so try to try not to uh, push it too hard. It should click like so. Now it's now it's in. It doesn't go in much more. Uh, it doesn't go in more than this. This is all all there is. So this is something you have to be gentle with. Now we have the antenna, the Wi-Fi antenna cables, which go in like so. And so, okay, now, now everything is in, all the cables are connected. Now we can step to the next part, which is the keyboard. This is the keyboard. Now, it, first you put in like this, go a little bit back, and then pull it up. All four cables must be in. There are only four of them. Now, once they're in, we can actually start by closing this up. Actually, I forgot something on the back side. I forgot these metal plates. These have to go in first. So now they have they do have a marking which is L for left and R for right. They are different things. They have different shape, so it's you cannot actually confuse them. They only have one way of going in. Once we're done with that, we open the display, push this backwards until it goes all the way under, like so. On the back side these should be above, on both sides they should be above the metal plates here. And then you start to apply light pressure, pressure on the sides and it starts to click. goes on are the speakers they, they, they actually get a, a little bit of dust here I cleaned this last time they get dust again you clean this, clean this up these are the, the two speakers which go inside now it goes like this put it on the back side just to, to be able to connect the cable first this it goes on top and just put it down push it down all the on all sides again it will click let's go in all around now everything here is completely closed everything is under again closed now we turn around the laptop like 
so. And we're gonna start by we're gonna start start with these little three screws. If you remember those. These little three screws, the very short ones, they go here. Once we're done with them, we can actually slide in the CD port, CD. Put this here. Screw it down. Again, if you remember, the long screws, these long screws are only for these holes here on the top. They're for here under, there are short ones only. Assembly videos in future. Thank you.